Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we are going to go over Dart Math. Math is a very easy um, library to use, so we're just going to use it as an example and explore it a little bit. We'll just do this for a few of these um, uh, built-in libraries for Dart, just to get used to it. Okay, so we can get used to using some of these um, libraries and being familiar with them. So we already know some of the functions that are provided by Dart Math. So we said three, five. Remember, so three times itself five times, that's to the power, gets us that number. We will also, we can, can also, we didn't go over this before, log, and that gets us a number. That is the natural log. So if you think you could have a natural log or a log base 10, if you don't know what log is, it basically means um, if it's depending upon what the base is. For this, it's the natural log. It's a constant e, which is like 2.7. How many times to um, how the base e, 2.7, goes into 35 how many times? And that gets you the number. And here it gets you... 3.55 times. If it was log base 10, it would go into that, what, three, three and a half times or something like that. So um, that's what log actually means. If you put in the value constant e, it'll get you one. And the constant e, capital E, it comes from the library Dart Math, and the value is 2.7182. So um, that, that's what that is. Um, w when you have the E or any constants that are available in libraries, you can always give them extra um, an extra variable if you need to manipulate it any further. Okay, so you can always print letter E, and it'll get you the same value right here. Okay. Um, there are a few other constants um, in math as well. Um, other things that we can do. Okay, we can do min. You might not think some of these are helpful. Maybe they will be in the future. What is the lower number of these two? So here it would be three. Um, make this 33 and the lower would be 5, which it is. Then, of course, the opposite of that is max, so that would be 33. And this would be 532, right? It's pretty simple, um, straightforward. There, um, in addition to functions with libraries, we also have classes as well. In math, there, this is actually a pretty big library. There are a number of features. There are a number of classes, there are a number of functions, but many of them are related to more graphic stuff, some geometry. So I'm not going to go into that at this point in time, maybe in the far distant future, unfortunately. Um, we still got a long ways to go. So random, class random, um, random, that's just the variable, equals new random. So basically this says the variable random, type random, Variable random, new instance of the object from the class random. Okay, a little redundant. Print, it'll just print random numbers or random somethings. Dot, you can get random bools, so it'll either give you a true or a false randomly. Sometimes true, sometimes false. It'll get you a double. And remember, doubles are decimals, so it'll just give you any random decimal just picks it out of a hat um, and then there's int max so integer like if you put the number five inside here actually int let's do that again let's read what it actually said 
um, generates positive random integer uniformly distributed on the range of zero inclusive to max exclusive. So in other words, it means if I put the number five here, options will be zero, one, two, three, four, not five. So every time I hit run, it'll be a new number every single time, right? And these are just random, randomly chosen. But it will not include anything five or above. Um, and just for the record, these are not what we call true random numbers. How they're generated, it is predictable. But for our practical purposes, these are random. It's not good enough for if you're talking about security, cryptography, or something like that. But again, that's not what we're talking about. For us, for practical purposes at this stage in, of our, in our learning, it is good enough. Okay, so that was that's um, the library in a nutshell. And we'll keep going on and just experiment a little bit and look into it in yourself and see what you understand and what you can learn from it yourself because just practicing is the way to go. Thanks.